this is a shred treadmill. If you don't dash properly, you're not gonna do as much damage. Just a little bit of combat. Oh, it's a very little dash. So I so you kind of see how it works. I think just blow up, right? You hit the dash, I think just slow up. This is a shred shred build. This board right here. So you can pretty much see what you need. Again, pretty simple. Uh, cross, cross, down, 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 grab the blue. Pretty simple. Um, the key point to shred is when you're dashing, right? So it's finally time to get our next druid build ready. So this is a shred, shred build. So obviously we're gonna cover, so attack power, 5,275. Armor, 6,287. Life, 14, 14K. Strength, obviously 269. Intelligence, 426. Willpower, 627. Dex, 433. So obviously we're gonna cover over our stuff. So we already covered that. Um, let's look through the offensive stuff. So weapon damage, weapon speed, attack bonus, attack speed bonus, sorry, critical strike chance, critical strike damage 116%. Mm-hmm. Critical, critical strike damage with the werewolf. Um, overpower, overpower, oh, sorry, overpower chance, overpower damage, 206%. Vulnerable damage, all damage, damage versus elites. Close, healthy, poisoned, fortified human damage while shape shifted. So you can pretty much see all of the numbers. Uh, damage while werewolf, damage with physical, damage with poison, damage with core, shape shifting, damage with werewolf and thorns. Uh, down into the defensive, maximum life, potion capacity, all healing, healing from potions, armor, werebear armor, werewolf armor, armor contribution, dodge chance, fortify bonus, fire resistance, cold. Lightning, Poison, Shadow re Resistances, uh, All Damage Reductions, Dot Damage Reduction, Damage Reduction from Elites, Damage Reduction from Vulnerable, Damage Reduction from Close, Damage Reduction from Poisoned. Uh, utility, our Max Spirit, Spirit Reduction, Spirit Regeneration, Spirit Generation, Movement Speed, Elite Movement, or Elite Kill Movement Speed, Cooldown Reduction, Lucky Hit Chance Bonus, Crowd control duration bonus. <coughs> Crowd uh, control impaired duration reduction. And then in PvP, damage reduction and armor contribution. So that's pretty much our base stats with the shred build. You'll obviously notice a little bit of a difference between the tornado build and this one. Uh, so let's go through the armors. So we're, wearing, we're, we're using the Tempest Roar. Still, that hasn't changed. So there's a... <clears throat> Sorry about that. There's the stats on the Tempest Roar, Roar. Oh, I did get an upgrade on my Tempest Roar from the last time. Hence, um, a little bit of a difference. So, our Critical Strike and Storm and stuff is, is higher. Plus, uh, the overall item power is higher than the last time. Um, our armor, Doom Armor of Disobedience. So, as you can see, um, our stats are not bad uh cyclone armor got a three out of four it's not too too bad on it so pretty much you can see the stats that we have on the armors uh the gloves this is what we're using so we got that plus four uh, ranks of shred which is very important the critical strike damage while werewolf you know gotta get those in uh, the Vigorous Doom Curuses. So again, you can see our stats, what we're using on the on these pants. The Boots, Storm Shifters, Archon Greaves. So again, you can see what we have. Some of our gear pieces hasn't changed between builds, and some obviously did change. Um, some, we just switched out the aspects. So my weapon is still the same. That hasn't changed from, from build to build. This is still the same thing um i think the only thing that i got a little bit uh 
No, actually nothing improved on that. I was thinking that maybe my stat roll changed, but no, that's still the same. Um, obviously the aspect is different. Um, here again, same, same totem. We haven't changed that. So you'll notice everything is pretty much exactly the same, except for um, our aspect. I think we changed this one too. To, yeah. Um, sorry, our dire wolf necklace. Necklace is, is the same. That hasn't changed. Um, our, sorry, give you a chance to like look at the stats on it. Um, our ring hasn't changed either. Both of our rings haven't changed. So that's still exactly the same. And this one's still exactly the same. The Band of the Rampaging Werebeast. Because there wasn't really much of a difference that, that required it to change, so we just kept it the same. So, the aspect... I'm really bad with names of aspects. So basically... This is a disobedience. So let me just... Um, sorry. Sorry. Give me a second here. I gotta go to the aspect vendor. Cause I'm a, I'm a potato. <laughs> okay. Codex of power. So let me just find the, that one aspect that I'm using. It's the disobedience. I wish I could just search the name of it. Uh, oh, here. So the aspect of disobedience. That's what I'm using on the on the uh, chest piece. So you gain 0.25% increased armor for 4 seconds when you deal any form of damage, stacking up to a 15%. So that's what we have on the armor, uh, the chest piece. So gloves, we're using the aspect of blurred beast. Um... I just gotta find it. See, some of these, uh, that's rampaging. Some of them, I have a hard time remembering if they're dungeon dropped or just regular item drops. So this is why sometimes you see me, um... Look, I think this one is a, an actual just drop. So anyways, Aspect of Blurred Beast is pretty much what it's called. So while dashing, Shred seeks out nearby poisoned enemies instantly, dealing... I have a 100% buff on it of the poisoning damage to them. So obviously, if you've got poison stacked, you're going to do way more poison damage with the with this aspect, right? So Vigorous Doom Curses. So this is... Uh, gain 15%. So, okay, I'm saying 15% because my aspect is maxed. Damage reduction while shapeshifted into a werewolf. So this guy... Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Damage reduction while well, shapeshifted. Damage reduction. I know this one is an aspect in here. That here, vigorous, vigorous. Gain ten. So gain ten percent damage reduction while well, shapeshifted. It shapeshifted into a werewolf. So that's the the normal dungeon drop. Obviously, if you get it randomly drops, you can have a higher higher one, kind of like what I've got, right? Uh, boots storm shifters. So while hurricane is active, gain plus two ranks to your shapeshifting skills. So that's um, what I have. I've, I'm pretty sure it's called sh Storm Shifter. Um, necklace, Dire Wolf. So Grizzly Rage now shapeshifts you into a Dire Wolf. As a Dire Wolf, you gain 38%, again, because mine is maxed, 38% movement speed instead of damage reduction, and a 75% spirit cost reduction bonus. In addition, kills heal you for 10% of your maximum life. So yeah, that's the Dire Wolf one. Which, the name is still the same, Dire Wolf Aspect. Uh, Band of Retaliation. Your core skills deal up to, I'm just going to say, 38% increased damage based on the amount that you fortify. Uh, your core, your core. So I want to make sure that I have the right name for that one really quickly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so bad with names. That's that. Core, 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 core. Is that just a normal drop? Oh, here. Aspect of Retaliation. So, 
Ba base one is uh, your curse skills deal up to 20% increased damage based on the amount that you fortify. Uh, Band of Rampaging Were Beast. So the duration of Grizzly Rage is increased by 5 seconds. In addition, critical strikes while Grizzly Rage is active increases your critical strike damage by 10% for the duration. So Rampaging Were Beast. So that's uh, up here. Where is it? Here, aspect of the Rampage of Beast. So, duration of Grizzly Rage is increased by one second. In addition, in Critical Strike, while Grizzly Rage is active, increases your Critical Strike damage by 10%. So, that's the normal base one. And then, this one here is a random drop one. So, exhilarating. So, Critical Strikes with Core Skills increases your attack speed by 23% for five seconds. Wait, is it? Exhilarating. Your core, wait, what is it? Critical strikes with core skills. I think this one is a drop one. Critical, critical, critical. Let me just, just go through this really, really fast. Sorry. Oh, that's Stormclaw. No, I think that accelerating is a rent is a is a drop one though. Yeah. See, this is what I mean about I have a hard time remembering certain things. Yeah. So that so that covers pretty much the aspects what we have. So like I said, like some aspects we changed between builds, some we didn't. So you'll notice if you take a look at our other build featuring the tornado, um, the were werewolf tornado build, you'll notice how some of our stuff is pretty much the same, and then some things changed out. So you can easily jump from one build to the other build at any time. Just take a look at both things and then switch accordingly. So that covers the gear and the aspects. So let's uh, take a look at um, our skill tree, right? So let's go right to the top. So, oops, sorry. Storm Strike, we have uh, one point. Enhanced Storm Strike, Fierce Storm Strike. Then we go down... Heart of the Wild is one. Wild Impulses is a three. Then our Shred, obviously. We're sitting at a nine out of five because of our gear, remember? So in general, max it out and then, so go basically five, five. And if you have extra pieces on your gears, heck yes, right? Uh, enhanced Shred and Primal Shred. And then dig Digitigrade Gate rank two out of three. Oh, sorry. Predatory Instinct three, three then do the purple one here then we're going to go down here ancestral fortitude is one out of three vigilance is a three three earthen bulwark we, we have it at a four so for anybody that is confused the reason why is because of our gear okay we'll be using this in another build but for right now this is because of my gear piece um cyclone armor four out of five enhanced cyclone armor Preserving Cyclone Armor. Then Blood Howl 1. Enhanced Blood Howl. Preserving Blood Howl. Then we jump down here. As you notice, we have no companions. So we go down. Uh, Elemental Exposure 3-3. Three, three. Endless Tempest 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Hurricane 1. Enhanced Hurricane. And Savage Hurricane. Then look here. Neurotoxin 1. And Venom 3. Toxic Claws max it out to a three again the reason why we have four is because of our gear piece then we go down into here grizzly rage one prime grizzly rage supreme grizzly rage uh defensive posture three three nature's resolve three three and unrestrained three three then as you can see here we go with the lupine uh sorry lupine ferocity so that covers that area there so that's pretty much all of our our skill tree uh paragon board let's go <laughs> okay so I'm trying to like zoom out so you can pretty much see for the most part but obviously it's not exactly the easiest so here start go here 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 up grab tenacity grab here grab here 
Then go up, up, left, up one. Make sure you grab these two. Then here, here, here. Tracker is the room that you want. So then you're gonna go this way, this way, up, up. Make sure that you grab these guys. Then go back here, here, here. Grab impel. Head up here, 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 here. Then go through. So on the next board, which is right here, uh, ign ignore the other stuff for now. This is the heightened malice board. So, sorry. So we're gonna go this way just to get this this part covered. So up, 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 over, over, over here, up, up here. Fang and claw is what you want. Then down across nature born, up, up, over here, 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 here. Then up, 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 up. Then across, across, across. And then you're going into your next board. So that covers that section, that spot there. Then we're going to take a look here, of course, right? Oh, sorry. So when you're back into this section, up, 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 over, up, across, across, grab all the blues, grab overturn, go up, 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 across, 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 across. Make sure that you grab toxic bane. Then we're going to go up, 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 here, here, this way, this way, poison resilience, up, across, across, to make sure that you grab the heightened malice. Then once we get back here, it's across, 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 here, 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 into the next board. So it's a little bit hard to just kind of show the whole thing. So if we go like this, you can pretty much see it, right? So let me just zoom out a little bit more just so you can kind of see across what it looks like a little bit closer. And then go up this way just so you can see again oops sorry i didn't mean to do that like that so then here we're going to cover this side here just to make it go quicker uh so this board here is the thunderstruck board just to just to make it a little bit easy so there's not much that you're putting here but you're going to go down 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 across down down make sure that you grab hubris go across here 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 down territorial is the room that you want then down, across, across, up one, then down, down. So there's not a lot that you're going to put into this, into this board here, as you can tell. So then after you're done with that, then we're going to go back across this way. Uh, so this board is called the Inner Beast board. So as you can see, so we're going to start, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. So across, 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 here, here, up, up, across. Grab shapeshifter, go up, up, grab this one. Then across, across, go down, grab this glyph for undaunted. Then here, up one, across, across, down. Grab determination, go down, grab this blue one. Then you're gonna go across, across, down, 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 down. Grab the blue, grab tenacity, grab this one and grab this one. And then you're gonna go across, 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 across to the next board. That's for this one, okay? And then here, once we go back to this page here, down, down, grab the blues. So this one, this one, this one. Grab nimble, grab this one, this one, down, down, across, down. Grab blue, blue, blue. Grab slayer, grab blue. Then across, down, 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 down across down this way so this um so that's uh this board here so again we're going to just zoom out just so you can pretty much see a little bit easier i know it's a little bit hard it's like it just gives you an idea of where you're putting your stuff in this one and then we'll zoom out just one more time just to make it a little bit easier this way and then yeah, let's just get this board done here. Okay, so this board here is called the Lust for Carnage board. So as you can see, there's not a lot of stuff in this one, for the most part. So here you're going to go across, 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 go down, down, grab the blue, 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 grab the yellow one, Wild's Call. Okay, then you're going to go across, 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 up, up, grab regen Regenerative, go across, across, grab this socket here for Werewolf, go up, up. Then across, 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 grab feral. Then down, 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 down. Uh, sorry, across. Grab lust for carnage. Then go across, across, down, down, down. Grab the blue, grab the blue.
go up for fleeting, and then grab the blue. So that's pretty much this board right here. Very easy, very simple. Uh, let me just, again, I, I gotta stop hovering over the runes when I'm trying to do this, eh? There we go. So this pretty much shows you where you're putting all of your runes, if I'm zoomed in. So that's that one there. So then we're gonna go here. So this board here is the Constricting Tendrils board. Again, there's not a lot of stuff in it. But so we're gonna go down, 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 across, down, across, uh, down, sorry. Across, down, down, across, grab this one. We're gonna grab the Exploit Rune. Then we're gonna go up, 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 grab Courage, up, across, uh, grab this one, obviously that's right beside the rune. Then go down, down, across one for the vulnerable damage. Then down again, and then across one more for other vulnerable. So that's pretty much this uh, room, um, this board right here. So you can pretty much see what you need. Again, pretty simple. Uh, just, and then yeah. So that pretty much covers all of your Paragon boards for all of your stuff. So once you get yourself all pretty much situated to this, you'll be running Shred. It's not a bad build. Um, I personally enjoy it, but obviously everybody's got preferences, right? Uh, our spirit boons uh, did not change, so we're still using uh, wariness in the, the deer section. Uh, we're still using scythe talons in the crow section. Wolf section, we're still using pack leader. And uh, snake section? We're using, we're still using masochist, masochistic, and calm before the storm. Those ones have, haven't changed. We're still using those. So now let me just uh, teleport somewhere really, really quickly just to kind of show you a little bit of how um, the attacks look. Just a little bit of combat. Um, the key point to shred is when you're dashing, right? If you don't dash properly, you're not going to do as much damage. So normal mobs, you're not going to notice it as much because things are going to die pretty quickly. But with bosses, you're going to notice if you're not doing it right. Now I just got to actually find some monsters here. So when you think- oh, okay, so here we're going to summon them. And then, watch, when you dash, right? Don't mind me, my attack is not working. Okay, I just got to build up dash here. That's okay, so there we go. So you kind of see how like things are exploding, right? That's a combo of like our shred with our with um our damage. I feel like why is my dash button not working here? Oh, it's a very little dash. So anyway, so you kind of see how it works when things just blow up, right? When you hit the dash and things just explode. So you'll notice like you'll feel a lot more powerful on, on normal mobs. But if you don't time the dash correctly on bosses, it's gonna take you a little bit longer to kill them because you gotta get those crit hits while, while you dash, right? Normal mobs, it's easy because they just die super, super quick. But outside of that, it's pretty straightforward. Just try to get used to using your, your shred while you're dashing. Make sure that you don't dash too early, right? Because otherwise you're gonna be lowering the amount of damage you do, right? So, as you can see, if you do it right, everything pretty much just explodes. But, and it, but again, so just, with boss fights, just kind of practice it out a little bit and try to get the timing down perfect. And then with that, it's pretty straightforward. There's your Shred build. Please let me know in the comment sections if you actually enjoy Shred or which Druid build that you enjoy more than anything. And then also get hyped and get excited. Because our next druid build that will be coming in a little while is Bulwark. So outside of that, please check out all of our previous builds. You got the druid tornado build. We got our shred. And then we got our upcoming Bulwark. So subscribe to our channel and uh, get hyped. Until then, bye!